Hi, I'm Yvonne Brooks from McNally Jackson Books. Today we're going to make a surprise pop-up story. We're going to start with a simple Altoids tin and transform it. You can also get tins that don't say Altoids. You can get some plain uh, tins at the art store. So I wanted to kind of show you, give you an example of what we did here. Um, this I had some origami paper that had a um, dragon on it. So I cut that out and glued that to the top. And around the sides I have washi tape. And on the bottom I happen to have some contact paper. So I have that. And then when you open it up on the inside, let's see, here we go. Pop up. There we go. It's a surprise story. And I decorated the lid with some birds, clouds, and there's a tree. You see the tree starts here and then continues on here in the story. And it's kind of hard to read in this light, but this story starts out, I asked the birds if they could see, and then the story continues. And you can write your own story, and you can fit it in there in the tin. This one also has washi tape around the edges, and the pop story pops right out. And we glued a little piece of blue, like blue sky inside, maybe like an ocean. Maybe your story's about the ocean. There you go. Let's go through one and see how we did this. Here, is, here are the dimensions. The inside pieces are two inches, three and a half inches, sorry, by two inches. That's what this size is. And the lid is a little bigger because it's on the outside. It's three and three quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. So if you want to make a design yourself your lid here, you start with your rectangle that's this size and then you trim around the edges and you kind of make it curve a little. There you go and you glue it in there. And it starts out as this size and like I said we trim around the edges and to you have the dimensions three and a quarter by two and a quarter inches you can also take your tin and there's some uh, spotted thin paper that I have from some an origami pack you can take it and trace around the lid if you like uh, that way you'll have your curve it'll be too big that way but if you cut inside the lines then you'll have a better shot at fitting it right across the top of your lid here we go. Let's cut this out and we'll cut around the curve, but we'll cut inside the line so, so it will fit there and it won't stick out over the edges. I mean, it still might stick out over the edges, but that's okay too. Here we go. Now let me see. There we go. Tiny bit big, but that's okay. We can trim it. It's easy enough to do. We'll just trim a little bit off up here. And what's nice about the uh, Altoid tins is they have this little um, border of color, so that can kind of help you when it doesn't have to be so exact. You see how you can still see the border there on the edge there. Move that out of the way. I think you have an idea of the size now. And sometimes if you want to reduce the bumps, like this one, I took um, masking tape and put it over there. And you can put the masking tape on before you glue it, or you can glue it directly to the lid. Um, take some Elmer's glue here and glue up the top. There we go. Now you can either do your story first or you can decorate your tin first, whichever you like. This one here, we'll put the top on here. And we're pressing the glue down. There we go. And we have our, oh, we lost our lid. There's our lid piece in there. Well, this is the one that's, yeah, that one's trimmed. Now what we want to do is we want to put our washi tape around the edges for the trim. Let's see here. You can start it in the back. You might have to trim a little bit around the hinges, but sometimes you don't. It just sort of depends how tightly you fit it in there. There we go. So I'm going to open the lid. So this way I can make sure, see how it's going to go along the bottom there? Um, so that it will 
go evenly along the bottom, but yet it won't interfere right here with the lid being able to close in a snug way. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to trim this. There we go. I think I got it a little off track here, but let's try again. Maybe I'll just... There we go. And now we can still open it and close it. So that has the washi tape border. And it has the lid there. And it's kind of fine if you have the trim of the Altoid tin showing from there. And you can do whatever you like on the bottom. You can glue another piece. Or if you have this, if you use this for your title uh, book cover, for example, and you want to say what your book is about, you can then, on the back, you might want to write, it's by so-and-so, and the date of the book, and when you made it. There you go. So, I've got this in here. Now, the last piece is the pop-up story part of your book. There you go. Now, we're going to, we took, um, for this, I just took an 8.5 by 11 cardstock and trimmed it. Like I said, for the inside piece, it's 3.5 by two inches. So we trimmed that. This is what this is. This is three and a half. Then we're going to fold it so that it will fit in there like this. You're going to fold it. You can do it with a ruler or you can, for your first, once you do one fold, see how it's, this is two inches. Once you do one fold, it makes it much easier to do the other folds. Let me set this to the side. You can see the accordion fold. Some of you may have folded accordion shapes before, but when you first start, got glue all over. When you first start, it's important to line up the edges along the sides so that they're even. There you go. And then you're just going to fold it again on the two inches fold. And then another time. Again, trying to keep the sides lined up so that when you put it in your tin, it will still fit. And then we'll fold it another time. There we go. And we have a little bit left over, right? That's okay because if you want to make your story extra long, you can just attach it to another piece that's in there. And you can have it be this long. So you could have it two paper lengths, like that. So let's put it in the tin now and fit it in there. Oops, you know what we forgot? We forgot to trim around the edges just to make it a little rounder so it'll have a nice fit in there. Here we go. Got our scraps out of the way, but you know what? That's okay, right? There we go, it's our working space. And we'll cover, cut this one. And if you can see what I'm doing with the cut there. And then we'll do the fourth corner and round it a little bit too. You know, there you go. You can cut those that way. And now it fits smoothly in there. And it will pop out. And you can, like I said, you can decorate the inside of that. Or you can, you can write words or you can do a picture. And you can write words on here and make it it's a double the length if you like. You can also take this tin, it'll be a mystery tin, and you'll give it to someone for a gift, and then when they open it up, it turns out to be a surprise birthday card. You can get leave all kinds of messages. You could write someone a poem there, and it would be a pop-up surprise inside there. So have fun making your surprise pop-up story tins.